Hey YouTube people, it's 2022 and I decided that my office and desk and YouTube studio and VR play space needed a facelift. So that's why I have been updating uh, pretty much everything in this room from where it was last year. And you may have seen a little bit of that happening in the background, um, but I want to give you a tour of my studio, how I put together my desk, standing desk, and uh, set up uh, the entire room uh, to kind of fit my needs. Hopefully it might give you a few ideas. Uh, everyone's needs are different. Everyone's spaces tend to be differently, but I use my space for remoting into work uh, from home, uh, editing videos, gaming, VR gaming, a studio for recording, recording videos. So there's a lot going on in here and I've kind of all mixed them together for, as something that works for me. Uh, but I'd like to share that with you and let you take a look and hopefully it gives you some ideas. So let's get started. So let's talk about this uplift desk for a moment. Um, I got turned on to them by watching quite a few other people's setup videos. I went with the ash gray on the wood and it turned out pretty nice. Uh, this mat that they uh, had available with it really matches my Secret Labs chair color. So I thought that tied things together pretty well. Um, but here's how I've configured my my buttons here. So obviously you can just go up and down how you want um, But my level one puts this desk flush with my side drawers and By doing so I get extra table space if I need to set something down or if I'm doing a review bit video or whatever And it's a little bit larger. It should give me a little extra room uh, both on the right and the left um, which gives me just a little bit more space too is the standard uh, sitting desk position and it's set up so I can have my feet on the ground my armrests where I like them and have it still fit just underneath the desk which works really great and then level three is my standing position so that's gonna rise the desk up To the perfect height where I can easily rest my arms. Uh, they also sent over this pad which I can just drop down like that and now I'm standing and working which is really neat and level four. Level four goes to the highest setting. Being able to stand at the station uh, is just uh, really good for posture and it also helps uh, you stay focused on what you're working on a little bit there. Um, just helps you change things up and improve your productivity. So the other thing I like about this desk 
is, as you can see, I have the VR set up in here. Um, it actually gives me a little bit more room to interact. So, for example, if I have the chair out, I can actually drop this into its tallest mode and the chair slides right underneath like that, giving me all sorts of room to be able to play. And, you know, you do any blade and sorcery and you're kind of all over the place fighting people. So not only does it bring the monitor up out of the way so I don't accidentally hit it, uh, but it kind of opens up the play space area quite a bit. It's a minor change, but it's worth it. Another unique thing I'm doing here is I have a stream deck, which uh, I can use for uh, broadcasting with OBS, uh, kind of control the cameras and scenes, but also it has a really cool uh, hardware info plugin, which I don't know if you can see that too well, but I'm getting live readouts of my GPU power, uh, CPU power, CPU temps, uh, network speed, and the P cores, and the E cores, and the GPU clock, uh, which is pretty cool. I always like having stats up, um, and I've even gone as far as at times having a tiny secondary monitor is just used to kind of monitor what's going on on the computer while you're playing games or whatever. Uh, but this definitely does the trick, and it doesn't use the resources or confusion of having an extra monitor into the mix. Um, the other thing uh, that I'm doing in this setup is I've got the uh, Chakram uh, mouse and the uh, the Flare keyboard and I'm using uh, the Sound Blaster X um, soundbar and this is really a nice little setup it's very compact uh, it fits right underneath that alienware uh, monitor that's floating and it does it really easily it also has a subwoofer that i have uh, attached to the bottom of the desk so it can ride up and down and it accomplishes that all with very few cables you've got a usb cable going to the computer and you also have a US, sorry, a just the cable going over to the base. So two wires and power, and that's all you need. And it sounds amazing. Uh, this Katana is really awesome. Highly recommended. They have a new version out now that's a it's a little bit more expensive. Um, the but I will tell you a few downsides of this machine this sound blaster thing, it is very loud. So even if I am on level two, um, it's not quite quiet. Uh, but all you have to do in that instance is kind of go into your mixer settings and turn down the volume either on your YouTube video, you turn it, you, you just might have to turn it down further here. If you if it's a nighttime and you want it to be super quiet, that's what you would have to do. Um, so not that big a deal, but uh, just keep that in mind that you may have a few little issues with it. So I wanted to have a kind of unique backdrop uh, that I could use for taking YouTube videos. At one point I used blue and black acoustic foam that was quite soft. What I found is over time that discolored and warped and started not looking very good. It never looked super great in the first place, frankly. Um, so I switched to these gray and dark gray panels uh, that kind of give a pretty unique effect. Um, like I say, these, these triangle fixtures in the top are actually a 3D printed design uh, that I designed uh, and put together. And I made them to hold hue lights so I could kind of put up whatever uh, color I wanted, kind of help make the set look a little bit unique. I also put this paneling on the closet door just to kind of tie things together uh, when I painted the studio gray. And um, so let me show you these these panels. They're, they're a fiber panel. They're not foam. Um, and they hold their shape quite a bit better um, than 
traditional foam. I imagine the sound dampening maybe isn't quite as good, but it's good enough. And uh, it just kind of reduces the reverb from having uh, two plain walls. So it kind of gives the room a little bit of visual aesthetic. Um, it also helps protect the walls uh, when people are swinging their VR swords around and punching the walls. Uh, this just provides a little bit of dampening for people. Um, I don't usually run into the walls when I play VR, but uh, new people tend to have issues like that. So on the wall here, I have uh, these 3D printed knuckles holders or valve index controller holders with, that are super easy to drop in. You can see they charge right away. Um, there's a wall mount. All of these are on Thingiverse. Uh, these walls for my, sorry, these mounts for my uh, VR shoes, which you can use to kick dinosaurs or people or when you're battling or whatever, uh, wanted a place to store those. So we're using magnetic leads and that goes down and connects on there along with the belt. So kind of just gives um, an easy access place to charge and pull them off when you want to use them uh, along with the the valve index I've got up there on this pulley system. This pulley system is really cool. Uh, it's called VR wire and uh, it, it's pretty unique. It, it puts that wire across and it's on rollers so these will slide very easily left and right. It's the closest thing to being wireless uh, with a tethered headset I've found. Um, and of course, extra face plates, magnetic face plates. If I have uh, friends come over, uh, I have uh, some pretty severe allergies. So I tend to always uh, give them a guest mask. So I, no one ever touches my mask except me. Uh, and then uh, this is all powered by, uh, like I said, these magnetic cables. So I usually just drop a power bank up there, which lasts quite a long time. Usually these things don't take a whole lot of power. So let's talk about uh, this computer here. We've got our 3090 Founders Edition uh, that I was lucky enough to score on launch day for $1,500, which is uh, was a great deal. I didn't realize it at the time. It seemed like a lot at the time, but it was actually a very good purchase. Um, and lo and behold, I have switched over to Intel, which I've been on AMD for several years now. Um, but went to Intel with the 12900K and uh, also did that with the Z690 Asus uh, ProArt board. And there's a few reasons I did that. Um, a, just I wanted to explore kind of their new platform. I think that uh, they're very competitive and I was initially interested in getting that 3D Vcache AMD, um, but I decided that um, when they said it was only coming out with eight cores rather than a 16 core, I said, okay, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to scratch the itch and move to, uh, the Intel stuff because the Z690 should support this gen and next gen and their next gen will come the same time Zen 4 comes. So I figured, uh, it might be a good time to make the switch, even though it's less efficient than the AMD, it does have a little bit more peak performance. So this is all in the Torrent Fractal Design uh, case. And the reason I love this case um, and this motherboard together is you've got this USB-C port up here that supports 60 watt power delivery. So uh, if I need to charge anything, I just drop, drop the cable on there. I can easily charge things, um, which I'm always charging power banks and doing whatever but usb on the c on the top which my last case didn't have um and this case is really awesome i've enjoyed it a lot of course uh we have our nhd 15 noctua in there um the other reason uh, i did this was because i wanted to play around with some thunderbolt devices and yes i know you can get amd boards with thunderbolt uh but this this board has two thunderbolt controllers on the back uh, built in as well. The other must-have feature of this case as well is 
These straps on the back are so nice for cable management. I have a ton of cables back here still, <laughs> um, but it looked even messier before I had that. And with a desk that moves up and down, you really need to keep those strapped in and tight so that you don't have any issues. Uh, you don't want them getting caught or snagged on anything. Um, and then over here, um, you can see I have just a USB-C cable that I can use uh, to con connect in when I want, I want to plug something in uh, or my phone or whatever. I just drop it on there and this little, little doodad uh, keeps it in place so it's kind of out of the way and unobtrusive. So the way I'm uh, accomplishing this is uh, I have some Hue ambient lights attached to the monitor on the back side and uh, my custom 3D printed uh, triangle lights that I have in various corners of the room also have Hue lights wired into them and all of those are set up and linked to uh, Hue's little app here which lets you A, control the lights however you want, which is super nice. Uh, you can kind of get the ambiance you want right from your desktop. You don't have to stand up and go fiddle with switches or anything, uh, but also you can use audio and it will uh, look at what's on your screen. It kind of takes a sampling of what's on the screen and can use that uh, to apply lights as well. So if you're watching a video or whatever, you can uh, utilize it um, and get get the ambiance that matches uh, whatever you're watching on TV, which is really cool. So I guess the only thing left to talk about is uh, this monitor setup. Uh, I mentioned it was Alienware. It's their 38-inch IPS gaming monitor, 144 hertz refresh. With a 3840 by 1600 display, great for video editing. Um, it's quite big. Uh, the desk is really big. This is an 80 inch by 30 inch uh, as well. So it almost in video makes the monitor look a little smaller than it is, but it is <laughs> quite big. I can't even really get close to it without it going out of frame. Um, but I'll show you what the Philips connector looks like in the back. These are their ambient lights. Uh, that tape right on the back there. We're using a Logitech Brio for Windows Hello and video conferencing. And that's pretty much the entire setup. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my desk and office tour. And hopefully this maybe gave you some ideas for your own office or desk space. Tell me your favorite part in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more videos. We're using uh, this area to continue to make videos uh, for you guys to enjoy.